It's Iman Tai Ahmed, and I wanted to begin by just appreciating uh, the heartfelt thoughts and prayers for the people of Afghanistan and um, all the Americans there that have been uh, working so hard for the freedom of the people of Afghanistan. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to thank uh, the esteemed city council and Mayor Hernandez for once again recognizing the Muslim community of Dublin as an integral and welcome part of our larger Dublin community. This is the sixth year of the Muslim Awareness Month and uh, the recognition of the statewide uh, proclamation resolution, Assembly Res Resolution 58, which was to proclaim August as Muslim Appreciation Awareness Month by Assemblyman Bill Quirk. And we always appreciate being invited by the city of Dublin. As a Muslim community, we often feel misunderstood and perceived as foreign and mysterious. So recognizing Muslims during this month recognizes that we're not someone else, but rather we're your neighbors and friends, your doctors, your local small business owner, your school teachers, and more. I wanted to thank a number of people from the Dublin Muslim community for being inspirations for how to carry out the fundamental call to service that's integral to our faith. Those who are best to creation, those who are most compassionate with creation, are the ones who attain the ultimate compassion, mercy, and closeness to the creator. These people are inspirations to me in my own efforts in community building, organizing, and public service. <clears throat> I wanted to highlight these efforts, especially during this difficult year where we've all gone through the pandemic, because we've all felt a bit of despair at times. And it's these stories of human spirit rising above the challenges that we all need to sustain us. From the Muslim Public Affairs Council on the COVID Community Task Force for the Biden Administration, to the Council of American Islamic Relations Continuous Advocacy for Civil Rights and Inclusion, Muslims and Muslim-run community organizations strive constantly for the greater good. We are residents like Minara al Rahman, who works for an organization, Zakat Foundation, that coordinates food distribution in Alameda County and runs fundraisers in partnership with DoorDash, where portions of funds were distributed to those most in need in Hayward. Our organizations are like Support Life Foundation, who work tirelessly not only to serve Muslims, but all members of our community. we are help coordinated 10,000 vaccines for Alameda County and distributed 1.3 million pounds of food in Alameda County alone since the beginning of the pandemic. From the Muslim Community Center that many Muslims from Dublin attend, I'd like to thank Brother Munir Safi and Sabine Asafali, who have constant who have a constant open door policy. Whether you're coming there for the first time or a regular attendee, they always make an effort to make people feel welcome. And it was through these efforts that they were designated as a disability friendly facility this last year. And Sister Amina Abdullah, who selflessly runs the food pantry that's partnered with the Alameda County Food Bank, where weekly thousands of pounds of food is given out to hundreds of families of all faiths throughout the Tri-Valley on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and every other Saturday, in case you need to go and get some help. I also wanted to thank Sobia Qureshi for not only her service as a board member of the San Ramon Valley Islamic Center, where every year they raise funds and food and toys for those less fortunate, but her for her dedication to students at Kolb, Amador, Fallon, and more, where she served in distinction on school site councils and parent faculty clubs for years. And her service doesn't end there. She's worked on many DUSD community oversight community committees, raised funds for all schools through DPI, and I'm lucky to count her as a friend and mentor. Like her, there are many others out there, Shazia Nomani, Shaheen Parker, Nida Ahmed, and more, who have worked for year after year to make students their primary and central concern by serving on PFSO at Dublin High or PFCs across Dublin, or given of their time during the summer to volunteer at the Dublin Rotary and DPI fireworks booth to raise money for school band. Participating and being included in these efforts make us feel welcomed and included as essential parts of our community. One of my friends, Dr. Asad Tarsin, is a resident of Dublin, and he inspires all of us when he speaks at events and gatherings about building understanding about Islam and Muslims. But it was his work as an emergency room doctor during this last year and during COVID that really inspired me. And he's just one of many Muslim doctors and nurses serving as frontline workers in our community. I would also like to thank Gashif Qadri and Samir Qureshi and others who served on various city commissions for the city of Dublin. It's your passion for volunteering and service that inspires me and shows us our faith in action. Lastly, and far from least, I want to thank Aliza and Maham Shahab. 
their involvement in the Dublin Inclusion Project and in last year's summer of protest against abuses of power by police, as evidenced by the murder of George Floyd, inspired me to show up, stand up, and protest, speak out, and get involved. Aliza also wrote a letter to the staff of DUSD explaining for herself and for all students in Dublin who fast during the month of Ramadan what the realities of fasting are like. She requested understanding and inclusion for herself and for all students in Dublin who are going to be fasting. Her letter made me proud to be the mom of Muslim students in Dublin and made me feel emboldened to step up and speak out for my own children and all children in Dublin to feel included, seen, and understood by their teachers and fellow students. Thank you, as always, City Council and fellow Dublin City community members for welcoming us today and to celebrate American Muslims and always making us feel welcome in the city of Dublin. Thank you very much. Come on, I just want to want to express our feelings that everyone is always welcome in our city of Dublin and our new American backyard. And I, and I say that with honesty and full forwardness because we truly believe it, I think, here at the City Council. Um, Thank you for sharing everything that you guys have done during COVID because I think it's so important that, you know, that it's been everybody's hard work coming together to be able to try to get through this pandemic and to try to feed so many um, Alameda County residents, and not only just in Alameda County, but, you know, all within the cities that are in Alameda County. So I appreciate you. I know that um, Vice Mayor Kumagai just wanted to express um, a few words. Simon, thank you for the uh, very well-spoken um, description. You know, I wanted to read a line from, from the proclamation itself where it says, it's appropriate to promote awareness of the many contributions of American Muslims in Dublin and across the nation and extend to them the respect every American deserves. And I think that's really uh, key to what this is about. You know, I think that as you said, um, I, the Muslim community is often uh, misunderstood and uh, the subject of a lot of uh, discrimination and prejudice. And I think this is a important uh, step for us as a community to promote awareness. And as you described, uh, our Muslim neighbors are an integral part of our community. They're volunteering on boards and commissions and and I'm hopeful in the very near future we'll have a Muslim American sitting here at this dais. Um, it's, it's so important that you have a voice and representation here in our city. And um, I really just appreciate everything that you and, and the entire Muslim community do for our, for our beautiful town. Thank you. It's really with the partnership of uh, the city council and with the community at large, it's always made us feel so welcome. So we really appreciate it and appreciate all of your efforts on our behalf as well. Thank you. Thank you. And I would like to ask you and some of the community members to please step forward to accept our proclamation. <laughs> yeah. Sherry will, will adjust us yeah, accordingly. Thank you. Thank you for coming out.